Today I'd like to talk to you about honeybee health and how to monitor it. Many factors affect bee health, but the most detrimental pest is the Varroa mite. To avoid surprises or unexpected disappearances of bees, beekeepers must vigilantly monitor their hives and never underestimate the devastating effect of this pest. We suggest beekeepers monitor for Varroa mite three times a year. That would be spring, midsummer, and late summer. The most critical time to check is when bees start to prepare for winter. This is typically in August in many regions. An unaddressed mite infestation in August can result in colony losses throughout fall and winter. While many monitoring methods exist, most offer only a crude estimation of mites. This video demonstrates how to monitor mites using a more accurate method and how to compare the numbers to thresholds. Before collecting bee samples, step one is to gather and set up your materials and equipment. You will need beekeeper clothing and equipment, such as a bee suit, gloves, smoker and hive tool, a cooler with ice, a stopwatch or timer, a cutting board or tray, forceps, a marker and pen, a wash basin, washer fluid, a strainer, cloth, quart size zip seal bags or other suitable containers, and finally data sheets. Now your materials are set. You're ready to collect samples. First open the hive. Look for a frame with all stages of brood and check for the queen. If the queen is present, move her or select another frame. We suggest collecting approximately 300 bees in a labeled container. This label should include the date, hive ID, apiary name, purpose of the sample, and your initials. Check the sample to make sure the queen was not collected. Then put the sample in the cooler and transport to a freezer. You can set up a lab in a kitchen, garage, porch, or any other suitable workspace. Clip the cloth onto the basin and fill with washer fluid. Place the bees in a strainer. Put the strainer into fluid and agitate for three minutes to dislodge mites. Set bees aside to drain. Count mites on the cloth and record the number. Next, count your bees and record that number. Save washed bee sample for nosema and tracheomite analysis at some future point and then return the sample to the freezer. Varroa mite is the number one enemy of honeybees and the most significant challenge to bee health. Hopefully these varroa monitoring methods will help with improving management of this significant honeybee pest.